hello guys welcome to civil concept and in this video i am going to show you how to calculate reinforcement in thousand square feet slab okay so reinforcement means simply the weight of rebar okay so we will uh, calculate the total weight of rebar in a thousand square feet slab okay so here we have a question how to calculate rcc slab reinforcement having length 40 feet and width feet, uh, 25 feet okay so uh, this is the length and width of the slab if you multiply this uh, uh, length and width we will get how much thousand square feet slab okay so i will show you step by step process and uh, it is very easy to calculate the reinforcement in the slab okay so first of all we have a given data length of slab is how much 40 feet which is 480 inch okay so width of a slab is how much 25 feet which is 300 inch okay and top mesh rebar is uh, 8 mm diameter both way okay and 6 inch center to center spacing okay so guys you can see in this slab uh, there are two mesh okay so top mesh and bottom mesh uh, in this slab i am going to show you in a large picture here you can see in this slab one mesh is like this okay one mesh is like this and another mesh is below this mesh okay so this is bottom mesh and this is top mesh okay so in top mesh we can see rebar like in this direction and this direction also and for bottom uh, reinforcement also we can see uh, the rebar like this and this direction okay you can also see in this picture one of the mesh is on the top like this okay and bottom mesh are below this mesh okay okay so given data is top mesh rebar have 8 mm diameter both way okay for in this direction and this direction both way we have used 8 mm of diameter of the rebar and which spacing is 6 inch okay so 6 inch means uh, from this rebar to this rebar spacing is how much 6 inch okay and in this direction also from this rebar to this rebar the spacing is 6 inch okay in bottom mesh rebar also we have used 8 mm rebar both way and 6 inch is uh, center to center spacing okay so center to center center spacing in the bottom mesh is also how much 6 inch okay so you can use uh, data according to your design and requirement okay and uh, another thing is uh, extra for lapping and wastage uh, is how much 5 percent of the rebar okay so uh, when we lap and when we cut the rebar then we have to uh, lose some part of uh, rebar so we have to take some extra amount of rebar I am taking here five percent. Okay, now let's see the calculation. Okay, in step number one, we will calculate the number of parts in each direction. Okay, so in this direction of the slab and in this direction of the slab, how many numbers uh, of rebar has placed? Okay, so in number one, bars along width direction. Okay, so in short direction, the formula is number of bars equals to length of the slab. Okay, uh, divided by spacing plus one okay and keep in mind uh, the unit of these element must be same okay so length of the slab is how much 40 feet okay which made 480 inch okay and if you divide it by spacing which is our six inch okay six inch spacing and plus one we will get how much 480 divided by six plus one equals to 81 bars okay so this is the number of bars in what short direction uh, bars along long direction uh, toward the length okay so number of bars will be how much width of the slab divided by spacing plus one and the width of slab is how much 300 inch which is 25 feet and after calculating we will get how much 51 bars okay now we have calculated the number of bars in each direction of the slab okay in this direction also and in this direction also we have got the number of rebar okay now in step number two we will calculate the length of each bars okay so you can see in this picture if we have good number of rebar and length of one bar and if you multiply it then we will get total length of rebar so that we can calculate the weight okay so in step number two we will calculate the length of each bars so bars along width direction we have length 25 feet okay and bars along long direction we have length equals to 480 inch which is our 40 feet okay so uh, you can also uh, subtract here clear cover but, but clear cover is not given in the data so i am not subtracting here okay so total uh, length is 25 feet and 40 feet okay now in step number three we will calculate the total length of the rebar okay so i have told you earlier that uh, if you multiply 
the number of rebar with a length then we will get total length of the rebar okay so uh, total length of the bars along uh, w direction is uh, number of bars into length of each bars okay so after multiplying we will get how much 81 into 25 which will be 2025 feet okay so this is the uh, uh, length of rebar along what w direction only okay in uh, l direction it means long direction and again for total length of bars along l direction total length will be this uh, length into numbers okay and we will get how much 2040 feet okay now the combined total length for each mesh okay so combined total length for each mesh it means uh, toward uh, width direction and toward long direction we will get total length of the rebar is how much combined length 2025 which we have already calculated and 2040 which we have cal calculated here okay so after adding it we will get how much 4065 feet uh, for this direction and this direction of the slab okay so we have double mesh okay so for both mesh top and bottom we have to multiply it by 2 because we have calculated the rebar for top mesh in this direction and this direction only and if we multiply it uh, with 2 then we will get how much 8130 feet okay so guys if the diameter of the top mesh of the slab and the bottom mesh of the slab is not same then we can not multiply by 2 because the quantity uh, of the rebar may be different due to different diameter okay so we have calculated total length of the rebar in whole slab is 8130 okay now we will uh, do calculation uh, for 5% uh, extra rebar okay so adding 5% for lapping and wastage uh, 8130 plus 1.05 if we multiply it then we will get total 8536.5 uh, fit uh, with extra rebar 5% rebar okay now we will calculate in step number 5 total weight of steel okay so we have got total length of the rebar now we will use the formula weight of rebar equals to what diameter square into uh, length divided by 162 okay this is the formula to calculate the weight of rebar, rebar okay guys so here you have to know the diameter of the rebar must be in mm and the length of rebar must be in meter okay so we have got the length of total rebar in feet so we have to convert it into meter so converting length into meter we have to multiply it 0 0.3048 factors okay conversion factor after multiplying we will get how much 2602.8 meter and this is the length of rebar in meter okay now calculate the weight of 1 meter of 8 mm bars okay so weight per meter will be how much 8 square into 162 multiply 1 so we will get how much 0 0.395 kg and uh, if we multiply this with uh, this uh, length then we will get total total weight of rebar okay so total weight weight of rebar will be how much 0 0.395 which is the weight of rebar per meter and total length of rebar is 2602.8 meter we have calculated okay so after multiplying it we will get how much 1208.1 kg of rebar okay guys so guys finally we got what the total length of rebar uh, with 5% wastage is 8536.5 and total weight of steel is how much 1028.1 kg okay so let us see this calculation with the help of website so you have to go on the website www.civilconcept.com okay so you can start any of the bottom uh, this uh, with pro and with uh, aids okay so if you have taken membership then you can go with this and otherwise you can go with aids okay so calculation will be same okay so i am clicking here start tools and after clicking we, you will get different tools okay general tools special tools and coming soon tools okay so uh, over on this uh, estimation and click here on the slab estimator okay so after clicking here you will reach on this page okay so here you can see slab estimate calculator okay now you have to fill all the data and you will get the result all the result of the slab okay so here i am uh, putting the slab dimension okay so simon, uh, slab dimension is how much toward you can see in this picture this is the long uh, dimension of the slab and this is the short dimension of the slab so long dimension of the slab is 40 feet okay so i am putting here 40 and choose here unit feet 
and width is almost 25 so choose here 25 feet if you have dimension in meter then you can go with meter okay and after that thickness of the slab okay the thickness of slab is i am assuming 150 mm which is 5 inch okay this option is given to calculate the uh, volume of concrete as well okay you can see here cement uh, sand and aggregate okay so now here we have to put the rebar detail so for top top mesh and here for bottom mesh okay so top mesh our diameter of rebar in a, a direction okay so in this direction we have used 8 mm and in direction in this direction we have used 8 mm okay so diameter is 8 mm in a, a direction so put here 8 mm and spacing between the rebar is almost 150 okay and after that uh, diameter in bb direction is also 8 mm and spacing is 150 which is our 6 inch okay so let us see in our given data the spacing is 6 inches and diameter is 8 mm in both way okay now we have filled the data for top rebar top mesh of the rebar and now we have to fill the data for bottom mesh okay if you have different diameter then you can uh, write here otherwise you have to uh, go with your design and requirement okay so you can see, uh, see here in bottom mesh rebar we have used 8 mm diameter and 6 inches the spacing okay so i am putting here 8 mm uh, diameter diameter in a direction so i am putting here for bottom mesh 80 mm and uh, here 150 mm spacing okay and after that in bb direction right here 80 mm spacing for bb direction is 150 mm and this is the extra rebar according to your design and requirement i am putting here five percent according to our calculation okay so five percent and after that you have to fill the concrete mix detail to calculate the cement sand and aggregate okay i am leaving it because we are not calculating the cement sand and aggregate i will show you in the next video and for now i will calculate the reinforcement only okay so just click on the calculate button and you will get all the result in a second okay so uh, i am uh, going to show the result for rebar okay so total weight of the rebar is almost 1020 kg and in our calculation how much was it was 1028 kg because here we have considered the killer cover of the slab 20 m 25 mm okay but in our calculation there was no killer cover so the different between this uh, weight of rebar is 8 kg okay due to killer cover okay so if you put the mix ratio according to your design then it will also give you the volume of sand volume of aggregate and cement in bags in uh, in meter cube okay in bags in meter cube weight volume and dry volume all okay so you can use this calculator okay so guys in this way we can calculate the reinforcement in a, a slab this much for today please like this video and subscribe this channel for new update about civil engineering